Hi guys and welcome back. So how to boost your ZK Sync airdrop? When we talk about this layer two on Ethereum, we are literally talking about something that will be big and most of all, one of the hugest airdrops, or at least that's what we hope and all we are thinking that will come this year. We are getting closer, but we have to follow a couple of rules to boost your airdrop. And what I will show you today is not just a bridge this fund, use this protocol and so on. These are things that most people are doing. What I want to show you is a couple of things that you have absolutely to do that most of the people are not doing. So pay attention to that. And please, guys, don't forget to leave us a big, big thumbs up. Drop a comment to the comment section. Let me know if there is anything else that I missed. Maybe there is another trick that I can use also for myself in order to get the maximum out from this airdrop. And guys, don't forget this channel is about educational accounting, guys. I want to just share with you what I'm thinking. I'm not suggesting do this, do this other. At the end of the story, nobody better than you knows what's better for your portfolio and for your own strategy. Never fell in love with what other people are saying because simply there are so many people around. You can't listen to them all. So you need to have your own idea and take the best decisions for your own portfolio. And nobody better than you is able to, uh, uh, to take out the maximum from it. And guys, if you want to know more about airdrop strategies and so on, don't forget to follow us also our weekly newsletter. Just uh, click on the sub stack that you will find into the uh, description below. Plus, you can also follow us on Twitter and Discord if you want to know more or also if you want to interact with me, if you want to have, have any kind of personal feedback, feel free to ask. I'm here to help you. Okay, guys, let's start immediately. What is ZK Sync? So when we talk about ZK Sync, we are talking about layer two that is using ZK rollup, so zero knowledge. If you are wondering what, what is zero knowledge, simply means that instead of giving and being optimistic as optimism is doing, so all the optimistic rollups that basically are saying, I'm trusting you that what you are approving is uh, right, and I will check if it is really like you said, only when uh, it, the funds will be bridged again to the main, so to Ethereum. ZK means that they are using an algorithm in order to verify if the transaction is correct immediately. So this is speeding up also the whole process to bridge from one chain to the other one, and it is much more secure. So it's a big step forward, and we are just at the beginning of this journey. ZK Sync also, as you can see from this, it's also a pretty huge project in terms of fundraising. They already collected almost half a billion dollars. And if you're wondering why it matters so much, well, basically, a project already raised almost half a billion dollars. It means that at the moment of the launch, so when they will be launching the project, so pretty close, I think, could be this semester or maybe the next one, but either way, it will happen this year and in that moment the activity the fully good valuation will have a much higher value and it means also that even if they are just sharing giving as an airdrop the 10 percent of the whole allocation or even just the five if a project has a fully good valuation of 10, uh, 10 20 billions well in that case it will be like one or two billion it will be distributed to the community so that's pretty a lot if, if you have 1 billion to be distributed among the whole community, if you have 1 million people, each of them will get around 1,000. Obviously, there is different kind of allocations according to the rules that they will be following. And as always, as I was telling you into this video, guys, I will also link it right corner here, is we don't know. It's just about uncertainty. This is what uh, the real nature of airdrops. So ZK Sync is so juicy, so important, because it's so big and it's also demonstrated it has been able to create, generate traction. What I mean with traction is that many projects already deployed on their chain. And obviously this is something that is simplifying your life. Because remember guys, if you want to qualify for this airdrop, rule number one, it is not the tricks that I will show you just in a moment, but rule number one is using the chain. And remember, as many protocols as you are using, the better will be your airdrop. So don't forget to interact with as many of them. If it's possible, at least 100. I know that's a lot. I'm not saying that you have to do 100, but 100 is the optimum. If you want to do less, do 
at, at minimum like five, ten. That's the kind of minimum amount of um, protocols that you have been using. I want to show you two resources that can help you to identify new projects, new protocols to be used on ZK Sync, and also to keep track on your progress when it comes to ZK Sync airdrop. The first tool is the one that you are seeing on the screen. So zksync.netfly.app. I will leave, don't worry, also the link into the description below. And as you can see, if you search for your address or whatever your address you want to know, you will find all the stats. Plus, what is interesting just down here, you will also find a list of protocols with the link. And that's something that is also pretty important because remember, guys, there are many scams around. Follow something that gives you some kind of authority that you know, okay, the app, the protocol that I'm using, it's not a scam. As always, all the rules that we always say when it comes to AWS should be applied. Use a dedicated wallet, defend yourself, don't be too exposed, and so on. Here you can find all the uh, applications, all the protocols, and use them at least once. So this is something that can help you. Also, this is another one, zkflow.net. Uh, I will leave also the link of that one. You can simply search your address. It's less comprehensive or compared to ZK Codex, but it could be useful even that one. Okay, now that we have understood that, let's start with the tricks that you can use in order to boost your airdrop. So trick number one, guys, we have just learned from um, the uh, StarkNet airdrop that one rule could be having a minimum into that wallet. What I mean is that you need to have at least 0.05 ETH into your wallet as a balance because you don't know when the snapshot will be happening. And in the moment of the snapshot, you want to showcase that you have money. Remember, guys, projects want to reward people who are creating value for the community, not just people who are farming just to take the airdrop. They want to see people who are literally motivated and creating value. So show that you are leaving money, at least the minimum amount, on the chain. So that's the trick number one. Trick number two. I don't know if you know this or if you're following, but Gitcoin is a big platform when it is collecting different opportunities to support projects. What they are saying is that you can contribute. It's like a big launchpad. With the only difference is that with a launchpad, you know exactly what you are buying, what's the price, and so on. With Gitcoin, all you know is that maybe that's uncertainty, that's like an airdrop. Maybe you will be rewarded. We have seen already using Gitcoin contribution in order to have like a multiplier for different other airdrops. So if you want to uh, support ZK Sync, you can simply go here and search for ZK Sync. Just go to grants and you will find all the uh, information. You will be able to support invest money directly on their platform. Trick number two. Remember, guys, we have seen projects. And this is even more important because in this case, we're talking about a layer two on Ethereum, rewarding people who had a domain on ENS. So what you can do is simply go into the app of ENS and buy a domain. Yes, I know it could be expensive specifically because the um, fees, gas fees right now are so high. Wait for a moment when the gas fees are low and buy with the wallet that you are having that you're using for different airdrops. That's better if you're using for different airdrops. At least you will have a domain bought for a single wallet instead of having different wallets. And each of them should buy um, a domain. So in this case, you will have to buy just once. But do that because it could be a boost. And that's something that we have already seen with other projects. Trick number four, use Dmail. Dmail is a provider that just had an airdrop. It wasn't so big, the airdrop was just not pennies, but nothing exceptional. But the point is that using the email is something that is pretty fast to start farming your airdrop. It is supporting different chains. So just in five minutes, you can produce a transaction for each chain that you want to farm. At the same time, obviously being qualified also for the new airdrop, the Dmail will do soon so do that because it's an easy way to remember guys projects are rewarding the persistency of your behaviors on their chain if you do at least one action per day and email that's by far the fastest way to do that 
Well, that's something that will help to boost your airdrop like never before. Many times it's much better to have less volume, less everything, but doing actions for six months in a row, just once every day, that's something that will help with your airdrop. Boost number five. This is really interesting, and that's something that not many people are doing. It's using safe app.safe.global to create a multi-sig. We have seen that with Optimism, we have seen it with Celestia and so on. Users who had a multi-sig active and performed transactions on their multi-sig, they got more airdrop, more money. And it's pretty simple. You can simply connect, connect uh, your wallet over here, select the chain that you want to use, for example, ZK Sync era. But as you can see, you can repeat the same trick also for Base or also for Polygon ZK EVM. That's the same thing. Just create, follow the procedure and do at least 10 transactions. If you do better, more, the better, obviously. But that's the minimum amount that you have to, to do in order to be more certain to have that kind of boost, because we have seen already other projects just rewarding people who did, who had a multi-sig and perform at least 10 transactions. Going to the sixth boost, it's about deploying a contract. And it's pretty simple to be fair. You, you can use third, it will ask you just to use an email uh, and a, a name, just fill it with whatever you prefer. Once you're good, you just click on contracts, ready to deploy. You choose the kind of contract you want to deploy, for example, a token. Click on deploy now, add a name, doesn't matter which, the symbol. Just click default, it, you will have uh, um, the uh, ash completed. Just set your wallet on ZK Sync mainnet uh, or select it from uh, uh, the menu, select menu. Click deploy. And it's done. You will have to sign up to sign the transactions from your MetaMask account and you're good to go. And you have deployed something. So as you can see, these are six different tricks, pretty straightforward, easy to go, that will help you to boost. This is everything that is additional to using the blockchain, using different protocols, using the bridge, making volume, making more transactions and so on. These are easy things that you can do and you will get more than everyone else. Okay, guys, so let me know if there is any trick additional to what I say that we can use. Let me know it in the comment section below and don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That's a small effort for you, but help really helps us to improve and also to get to reach more people. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you soon in another video. Bye, guys.